今日は家に私一人チャンス誰かに見られたらもう私生きていけなうんもう私生きていけない白く輝く奇跡の花ホワイトリリWelcome everyone to the channel. My name is Strawberry Vampire, and we're gonna talk about some cute moe kawaii types of anime, whatever you wanna call them. The lollies edition, cause you can't have anime moe enough without any cute lollies. I'm pretty sure I didn't sound like a pedophile. All clear? Yeah. <laughs> no, do not think. FBI, open up! <laughs> I just like cute lollies, they make me smile and make me happy. <laughs> Now before I start talking about anime, I have something really important to talk about. Apparently I'm an idiot. I have watched so many anime by the time I sat down to make a video on it. I wasn't even able to recall any, so I ended up looking on the internet. What more comedy type of anime should I talk about that I have already watched? I stumbled upon a comment. What, what he said, I, I really felt it and I feel like I have to tell you guys. If you have any kind of state of depression, stress or maybe subtle thoughts, I know these are just mere animations to some people but please give these types of anime a try. It's, it's just an animation, what bad can it do to you? I highly urge you to try these out even if you are not an anime lover despite what people say and blame about anything on games and anime that it has increased violence and yada 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 that kind of BS but I believe that it has the power to save lives not take lives. I apologize for the long intro. <laughs> now back to the topic. The first anime I'm gonna talk about is Gabriel Dropout. This anime is super fun and exciting when it comes to its shenanigans. There are angels who graduate from heaven and devils from hell. They all go to earth after graduating where they all try to study human by enrolling in the same school with them. At least that's what the plot says. But hey, I said shenanigans before. The real plot here is the comedy, the interaction between those angels and devil. You are going to question yourself who's the real angel and devil is. I'm not going to spoil the fun by telling you about the other characters. But what I can tell you is the anime focuses on two angels and two devils. In this kind of anime, you can't really tell who the protagonist is because they all got the same amount of screen time. So the next anime I'm gonna talk about is Watashi ni Tenshi ga Meurika. In English, an angel flew down to me. The anime revolves around a girl whose hobby is to make cosplay dresses, mainly for her little sister. Her little sister one day brings home a friend and the protagonist finds her way too cute and falls in love with her. The way comedy works, our protagonist is super shy and whenever she tries to talk, she gets overexcited and starts looking creepy to that little girl. But over time, the little girl realizes that she doesn't mean any harm. All our protagonist wants to do is make cute cosplay costumes for that little girl and her sister and take photos of them, which looks super creepy and funny at the same time. The synopsis is misleading for some people, but in the end, what these types of anime have in common? Cute girls doing cute stuff. And there are probably 4 to 6 girls in these type of anime. The next anime I'm gonna talk about is Miss Vampire Who Lives In My Neighborhood. Pretty self-explanatory. The plot here is a couple of girls in school start talking about weird things happening in their neighborhood. So one girl tries to figure out what's going on and ends up getting lost in the world. Where she finds the vampire who helps her out and the girl now wants to become friends with the vampire. The girl finds her way too cute as if she's a doll and wants to comb her hair and make her wear different dresses. I find it somewhat similar to what the Shinitaji Gamyorita. <laughs> the comedy here is whatever you expect from a vampire, she's totally opposite of that. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's a great show. You should watch it. The next anime I'm gonna talk about is Hitori Bochi's lifestyle. Hitori Bochi suffers from social anxiety. Can't really talk with people, but she promised a friend that she will make new friends at her new school. She is so full of herself, alone. But in reality, she fails to even talk to other people. She even faints whenever she gets too excited. Now at a new school alone, she has to make new friends before meeting again with her old friend. It's a new anime with a really good school comedy slice of life. The next anime I'm gonna talk about is Is the Order a Rabbit? 
A cheerful girl named Kokua Hoto moves into a Kafu family to attend high school away from home. Now she is staying at Rabbit House Cafe where she works as a waitress in return for room and board. She quickly becomes friends with the shy granddaughter of Rabbit House Cafe's founder who is often seen with the talking rabbit Tippy on her head. She also becomes friends with another part-timer and two more girls from different rival cafes. This is one of the best slice of life anime out there. Too many cute lollies. The amount of cuteness in this is, you can say this anime has another name, cuteness overloaded. Next anime I'm gonna talk about is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I've already talked about this one in my previous video. It's a really good moy slice of life anime. Kobayashi is our protagonist. One day helps a dragon out. It's almost as if she was dreaming because she was drunk and heading back her way home from the woods. The next day she sees a dragon right outside her apartment and suddenly that dragon turns into a beautiful maid and says I'll serve you now. Now because of that dragon maid, more creatures get attracted to that place and her life turns upside down. The last anime I'm gonna talk about is Rio's work is never done. This anime should have another title as Loli King. <laughs> I find this one funniest after the Gabriel drop -out. Rio is like the master of shogi and shogi is like complex version of chess. A teenage boy named Yaichi Kazuryu is the strongest shogi player in history, holding up a top title as Rio. One fateful day, shogi-loving elementary student Ai Hinatsuru appears before him claiming that he promised to be her master. But was such a promise really ever made? Thus began their master-disciple relationship. I really liked the way Snapson was written so I didn't make any changes, plus it didn't have any spoilers in it so I'm happy with this too. The Lolicon is a strong with this one. Lolis everywhere, way too cute for my taste. <laughs> FBI, open up!